Good morning, everybody. For those who um, um, come a little later, uh, I just wanted to... Hello, hello. I just wanted to show you these. These are my... Um, how do you say? Uh, gift cards. <laughs> and Or gift tags. So what I do is, when I'm bored, I make... I cut up... Um, sheets of, of watercolor paper and then I and then if I have leftover paint which is always my uh, my trip no to uh, finish the paint off and then I come up with whatever designs so there and I try to leave space and of course that's where I write at least their name um, if if let's say something like this is what happens in my painting I use a brush pen na black na very thick so that I can just write on top of the paint there are some paints that are powdery so it's harder to write on but there are some naman na uh, brush, let, brush pens that are really nice when you use them um, on any surface even if there's something written this was yesterday's um, lesson. Okay, I just return that. This was yesterday's lesson. We did ribbon type of petals. In fact, um, on YouTube, I called it the bunny ears because they look like bunny ears, right? And it will be easier for you to remember. And then the day before that, we made see-through, diaphanous, or transparent type of um, what is flowers? I I kept doing it because I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. So these are the flowers we did on the other tutorial. If you have suggestions as to what you want to learn, I'm open and um, I'm taking suggestions right now. But mainly. Um, I want to leave the making of the flower wreath on another day when we have a lot, a lot, a lot of lessons under our belt. So for those who don't know, typically I have about three or four of these at a time. I need water. One is for all my red paint. One is for the yellow. One is for the blue. And then the fourth pot is basically just for adding water to my paint okay i love using size six na round na brush um if you can control this brush you can do anything 
you can paint anything. Today, I'm using student grade paper. When I say student grade paper, it is just um, about 190 GSM. And that is really the weight that uh, I'm referring to. Your typical bond paper from a copy center would be 70 GSM. And um, more formal bond paper would be about 100 GSM. So just to give you an idea of what is um, out there. You can practice on bond paper. But the problem with bond paper is that it does not absorb well. So a lot of the water that you use, and it's supposed to be watery when you're doing watercolor, um, seeps through the paper and makes the paper very weak. Therefore, nagkakaroon tayo ng um, punit or butas. Okay? For my foreign friends, punit is tear, butas is whole. Alright. So let's see. What can we do today that makes me happy? I'm going to do, oh, sige, I'm going to do the dot dot flowers, okay? The one, the, the, the flower that you blot. This is typically a filler flower. When I say filler flower, it, um, I love making half rounded spherical looking ones. So this would be the dot dot flower, okay? It looks like it is a marigold or a gladiola. Let's see. I'll give you more examples from my previous artwork. Here, that's the dut dut flower. Basically, you're just tapping the brush along. It's never a whole sphere or a round one because I'm just suggesting that it's there. It doesn't need to look like a real flower because um, that's not what my painting is all about. Okay? They're just, they're just suggestions of something underneath. Hello, Naomi. Thanks for watching. I've decided I'm going to do the dut dut type of flowers. So it's all, um, what is Blotted. Okay? So it's nice. If, depending on how wet your paper is or how wet your paint is, you can do um, different types. So anyway, I did uh, yellow and violet beside each other. I like doing things that are complementary and uh, specifically these two colors. They complement each other, so they're beside each other. Anyway, to show you, uh, yellow and blue are complementary, so they're also beside each other. Okay, looking for the dot dot flower. Here, here it is again. It's all um, just dropping color onto the paper to make that flower here did i do that flower yes here behind the complementary colors the orange one is i just drop it this is actually um for some people very mysterious because they don't know how wet or how dry they're supposed to make their paint or how, how wet or dry they should load their paint brush so I'm going to do, um, okay, backgrounder, and I've been using this quite a while. Uh, this, I, I joined a workshop and uh, as a student, and look, hindi pa siya ubos. This has been more than a year. <laughs> uh, that's how, how far paints can go. All right. So let's see. Since I'm working with this, uh, let's try the brown. Okay. And I never clean the watercolor palette because all the other colors left behind, you can reconstitute or use that again. Um, that's the beauty of watercolor. So, wait, there's a little piece of hair. Let's remove that or whatever it is. Probably bristle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add water and I'm going to leave it here. As you can tell, um, watercolor is primarily water more than color okay if you're going to do anything that's not transparent so to speak uh, best use gouache or acrylic okay so this is very watery and that's what we want to use are you okay naomi uh let me know uh, if if i'm talking too fast or if there's something you need to learn uh, this is of course for you guys it's a free tutorial class, hoping, hoping that, you know, 
when everything's normal and we all have our budgets ready, you'd like to take a, a class. All right, so again, I'm not going to use the whole paper. I'm not going to draw the whole thing. It's usually in a corner or behind something. You see that? I'm just tapping the paper. And some parts have um, more paint. The others are, are see-through. And that's, that's what I want to happen. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And sometimes I move my paintbrush so I have irregular strokes. You don't know what the um, actual shape of the the leaves are in this or petals are in this uh, flower so right now oh I'm following through okay thank you and you're welcome um, so I left water I should get wait I'll move it closer so you can see so it's still wet see that if it's this wet I would suggest um, dropping another color, a darker one. Okay, same color family. Now, this is um, a dark brown. Hi, Aji. Aji uh, used to do my birthday cakes. Um, I'm a party planner then, kasi. So, Aji used to paint, eh, paint, uh, make me beautiful birthday cakes. Pero, iba na ang trip ni Aji. Aji pala, sorry. Iba na ang trip niya. <laughs> but anyway, welcome, welcome. Watch, watch, watch. So, again, same color family. It's a little drier. I didn't add water. I'm just dropping more paint here and there, especially in the wet areas. Ayan. Okay. And in this scenario, there we go. It just looks like I'm talented <laughs> um, there is more color and I'm using the wet on wet technique to let the paint move on its own and I'm able to uh, pretend okay or perceive that this is a full rounded object now if you want to go farther okay I will add green. Green. Just taking what's whatever's left of all the paint that I've uh, I was issued during that workshop. That workshop was an hour and a half, and it was one thousand five hundred. Okay, so um, nice to know, right? That there may libre pa sa mundo ngayon. <laughs> Okay, so, anyway, I've loaded it. And while it's slightly wet, you can um, introduce parang stems in the middle. And these stems will, of course, um, well, bleed into the, the design, which is okay. Um, the idea is you're doing it while it's wet. So, you know, prepare for that eventuality but anyway um it gets pretty naman in the end okay what will happen also is if you don't like what you see then you lift when i say lift you get a dry paintbrush this one is a uh, number eight silver black velvet okay and remember you have to take care of all your paint brushes you cannot just uh, leave them around or leave them in the paint pots while it's wet you can pull it out you can clean some spots while it's wet when it's dry good luck Kung nyo pong babalikan, papangit po yung pinaghirapan ninyo. Yan, I'll, i can live with that so in this scenario uh all we did was was make the water bleed into each other or the color watercolor bleed into each other and then you have some kind of marigold or gladiola some people can perceive this to be a very distant as in malayong uh, hydrangea okay let's try doing it in in purple or violet and then 
we go lavender. Okay? So, for people who don't have two colors na in the same color family, you can just use one and then just add color on top of it. Okay, example. Wait lang. Okay. So, I'm loading my brush. This is um, may pagka magenta. Okay, so it's not purple pala. Sorry naman. <laughs> Okay, so loading the brush, I'll go to another corner because, as I said, I'm not doing whole um, pages, eh, whole spheres or whole circles of, of this. Now, I can tell masyadong uh, puro yung color, okay? In this scenario, bababa ko si size 6 na may loaded color. I will go to my size 8 and then I will just use water to spread the paint while it's wet. Okay? Because this is wet. Ayan. You just push the color to the side. And the color naman will move. Mabait ang watercolor. Ayan. Actually, if you perceive the watercolor to be easy, as a medium it actually is okay so i left a few white spots that's okay because when you think about it um there it's still wet when you think about it it and from afar it becomes uh accidental highlights like i decided i was going to put highlights and that's where it was going to be Okay, so let's let's add maybe brown naman. Wala lang, trip ko lang. I'll put brown stems. Are they called stems here? I see brown here. Okay, working while watching. Go, go, go. As long as you are not driving. <laughs> what are you working on? Something uh, math-based or something food-based? Okay, so I'm going to add, as I said, little stems in the white portions. Yeah, medyo light yung brown, which is okay. I don't mind. Da -da -da. Tomorrow, I'm thinking of doing roses. Okay, so if you want to join me for another class, it will be at 10 a.m. pa rin. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the brown. It's very light. Boring stuff. Categorizing books. Ay, nako. Actually, that's bliss. It's so therapeutic when you're categorizing books. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so you can tell, right, that the color brown is seeping into the dark and the light magenta so to speak okay so there this is a, a wet on wet or bleeding technique yesterday I did also another wet on wet bleeding technique which is the bunny ears type of flower now um, any suggestions on your part if do you want to learn something spe uh, specific that I can do, that I can teach. Would you like... Um, okay. Usually, it takes a while for people to respond. Um, what if I just showed you that it's easy to make petal flowers that are uh, walang kwenta na strokes? <laughs> because some people tend to be OC. I started being OC about petals. Yung all five have to be equidistant from the other and all the petals have to look the same uh, size. Don't. Because that's the beauty of nature. You know, they all don't look alike. Right? So anyway, I'm loading it with indigo because that's what I what caught my attention. Okay. So the walang kwentang flowers bow the walang kwentang flowers i use the side of the paintbrush 
I lay it flat like this. And then I bring it to an imaginary center while lifting it. So it's ugly, right? And then I'll just fix it. The pasmado people will love this portion. You can just um, go back to it and then round it out if you like. You can you can drop water here. I mean, what paint. When I say drop, do you understand what I mean? You hold down the paintbrush so that it releases color from the paintbrush. Okay, so that's one. It looks ugly now, but promise, after a while when it dries, it it you'll change your mind. <laughs> that's what happens to me usually. Okay, so walang kwenta na naman the shape, right? I'll just fix it. Um, you start small, of course, because if you start big kagad, you have nowhere else to go. Usually, also, I keep my center empty. So, I don't have to paint on top of it. I'll just paint something in the middle later on. Okay, just add a little water. Medyo dark kagad yung kaganapan. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I don't know if I can do five. Ha 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 ha. Okay, this one is not as concentrated in color as the others. That's fine. Tap, tap, tap. Color will um, be dispensed from the brush. Okay, again. And just move it around. I'm leaving white spaces. The white spaces are your um, uh, highlight. Okay, kasha pa ba? Kasha. Ayan. So, maski maliit siya, okay lang. I'll just fix it here on this side. And fix it here on top. Okay. So, you see how uh, walang kwentang strokes can actually be uh, fixed. And you can, in the end, make a flower. If I move it far away, and I wonder if I can, it suddenly looks like a pretty flower okay and because this is indigo um in the in the family of blue i have to do or i'd like to do an orange or in the family of orange na um center okay but i'll let it dry a bit because if it's too wet um it will just bleed into the indigo the orange and i don't think you'll see anything uh oh, I dropped my brush in the uh, red pot. Grr. <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll let it dry a bit. Good morning, Apala, everybody. You can drink coffee with me. <clears throat> Walang Starbucks, kasi nga po. Quarantine tayo. Let's see. Where's my orange? So, what I'm going to do is go to the closest one, which is which is a um, golden rod. Almost orange. Let's just add brown. Saya na ako. Okay. And I used this earlier naman. So, trying to avoid this portion. It's still wet. I'll just dab I will dot dot in the center okay all right there you go so we have a, a color in the middle and since this brush has yellow orange on it let's continue using that color let's not waste it okay let's move this closer Let's do another flower, just like this one, so you can see. You can appreciate the, the way I did it. So it's almost like the bunny ears that I did yesterday. Sorry for calling it bunny ears, but it, it makes you realize it's that easy. So this is the walang kwentang petal. 
Okay, again, I'm using the side of the brush and I'm going to go towards a center. Okay, just like that. So I'm using the flat of the brush and I'm going to find a way to prettify it or make it a little bit rounder. Okay, for the latecomers, the first flower that I did was the the one that you just keep dabbing blotting onto the paper until you come up with this or this now I'm doing what I call the walang kwentang um, petals and these are nice filler petals actually especially when you have na your roses ganyan, and you just need character in your so I'm just dropping paint and I drop paint in the wet parts oh that one not wet <laughs> that's why it's not moving the paint so now I have to drop all over so hindi halata um, I may have mentioned it before that when when connoisseurs are nux trying to speak French. Um, you know, the yung mga may alam, when they're trying to buy a painting, what they're looking for is the least number of strokes and the least number of layers in a paint, uh, in a painting. You, what's that? Yeah, you don't want that. So, if it's um, retouched, they can tell. The water, the way it it dries suddenly is different and yeah to them the less layers the more masterful at wala na akong malalagay na fifth petal which is okay or pag pag pagpilitan dito yeah pwede nang maliit so sometimes hindi pa yan um tanchado Okay. Wait, lakihan natin. Habaan natin. There. So, um, pakiusap na lang po dun sa mga nanonood. Baka gusto nyo namang mag-like ng aking mga social media. We've got YouTube, Rosanna Araneta. Nandiyan po, nakasulat mismo sa ating screen. Meron din po tayong IG, Rosanna Araneta din. Okay? And then, follow nyo na rin tong uh, workshops by Roxy so that you are given notifications whenever I come up with something new or when I have a class. Just so you know, I do online classes. Bago pa po mag-quarantine, nag-online classes na ako. Anong oras? Bahala po kayo. Kadalasan, I get the, the mga um, call center people who need... Um, something to 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 do <laughs> and so um ang oras namin hindi na hindi nakakatuwa alas dos ng umaga alas sa is ng umaga why not di ba so um anong color to may pagka violet o dito tayo kita nyo hindi ko na maalala kung anong mga natitira okay so again we load we load we load oh I also have a website workshopsbyroxy.com you may want to um, subscribe there as well so all my sites lead to me if you have um, what's this need for corporate classes pwede po Okay, so again, so this is parang your sad uh, red, yellow, blue. Doon na lang ako naglaro. A sad red, yellow, blue version. Kasi kung dito primary yellow, mahirap naman mag primary red. Yan. So, are you a little bit more aware that, you, you know, okay lang magkamali or okay lang napangit ang strokes? Meron pang pag-asang inyong 
floral painting. Um, if you'd like, I can show you. What's this? I can show you the world. No, <laughs> I can show you bullet journals. Okay, and I do these flowers. I do these types of filler flowers, and um, other paintings as well. Ganito lang po. Ganito kadali. And I'm since I'm talking as I'm painting, maybe I'm going a little slower than usual. When I paint, you know, it's almost like a trance. I'm just painting and I don't know what time or day it is. And actually, that's not good. One of my mentors, um, next thing you know, nag -ano na siya, nag to try Athlon because he's too much, you know, seated on his ass and they don't want to to have heart complications and circulation problems, especially a painter. So if you're a writer or you just sit still, please find a way to move. Otherwise, um, painting pala can be hazardous to your health. <laughs> okay, so to you na po yung yellowish uh, work natin. So, I'll just drop blue. Wala. In, 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 you know, because our painting is is, um, now playing around these colors. And then, I will drop yellow here when this portion dries. Questions, anyone? I'm open to questions and I'm open to suggestions. So tomorrow, it will be roses, not today. And then um, beyond that, maybe we will do yun, wreaths. Thank you for the love. <laughs> I just got a heart heart. Okay, let's see. Balik tayo dito sa yellow. Mas puro, so less water because I just want to make it behave like gouache. I hope I'm saying it right. So I'm going to put yellow here. And if it mixes with the red, it's very concentrated. It won't run. Okay, there you go. So I've got the walang kwenta flowers. And then the dut dut flowers for today. So, can you tell? Diba? It's the now you guys. If if this is hard still after this tutorial, um, it's because you're not practicing. So practice makes permanent. Whatever you practice, gumaganda po, or it stays the same. Okay. Yeah, so last time for close-ups, you can see that uh, masaguang brush strokes can still lead to pretty five, five uh, petaled flowers except for this. <laughs> and if you want to do, when you dab paint and drop color, you can do that. This one is two-toned. I used two colors. Um, so it was a beige and a brown this one i used one color and it was a happy accident it was very concentrated magenta I th i'd say so i um topped it with just a wet clean brush and was able to come up with this design okay any more suggestions or comments from you guys let me know um if you are able to take pictures, you know, screen cap this and then send me by messenger. And then, and my, my mistake, screen cap this, share it on your social media and tag me, Roxy Araneta. Okay. Um, I will give you surprises in your uh, messenger inbox or so befriend me. Um, today is April 1, so I'm, I'm bringing this up um, because people think, you know, you might or I might be joking. I'm not. Um, I've done it before. And I'll give you nice surprises in your inbox. 
as long as you share the love okay hope you can share this with friends let them know i'm giving online free facebook live classes and i'll see you all tomorrow 10 a.m here at uh, workshops by roxy na facebook page i hope you all enjoyed this session and everybody stay home stay safe bye